Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about blood clot dissolution or fibrinolysis. So let's get started. First of all, we're going to be converting the pre into calicrean, but this is going to be happening in the presence of the Hageman factor, the tissue factor 12, and plasmin, which has a positive feedback loop. Now, uh, it's worth noting here is that uh, this uh, calicrean that we're going to be producing is a protease, and it is, it's responsible for cleaving peptide bonds between proteins. Next, we're going to be having this calicrean in the presence of the urokinase and the tissue plasminogen activator that is written right here. We're going to be uh, converting the plasminogen or activating the plasminogen uh, plasma protein, uh, the inactive plasma protein that is called plasminogen into plasmin. Plasmin is going to be in the presence of fiber. Uh, it's going to be uh, disoluting or breaking down the fibrin polymers and the fibrin degradation products. Uh, this is essentially how this whole process is. So quickly, let's recall pre calicrean into calicrean in the presence of the tissue factor 12, which is the Hageman factor and the plasmin. Now, uh, the plasminogen is then going to be converting the, uh, it's, it's an inactive protein is going to be converting into plasmin. Plasmin is going to be uh, leading to the dissolution of the fibrin polymers, uh, uh, and this is going to be giving us the fibrin degradation products. This concludes this episode. Thank you for watching. This has been Ali from B Biology.